Wow, there are a lot of cows around here. Hey, thanks for joining the show today. Today we're working on multiplication, a four digit number times a one digit number. I have three problems set up just like this. So if you wanna go ahead and write some of these problems on a paper, you can always pause and play the video and then check it with me. So, all right, let's go ahead and get started. I have 6,328 times six. When we work on big numbers like this with multiplication, we're always working on this side of the problem. So I'm gonna take six times eight. Six times eight, 48. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the eight right here, and I'm gonna put the four up on the top right there, and we're gonna be adding that four in a little bit. Not yet, but in a little bit. All right, so now next step is we're gonna add, or uh, add, we're gonna multiply six times two. Six times two, 12, and then 12, plus that four is 16. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the six right here, carry that one up there, and again, we're gonna be adding that number in a little bit, not yet, but in a little bit. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take six times three is 18. Now we're gonna add that one, which would be 19. So I go ahead and put nine right there, and then I put the one up here, and again, we're gonna be adding that in a little bit, not yet, but in a little bit. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take six times six is 36, plus that one, which would be 37. So I'm gonna go ahead and put 37 right here. And that is our answer, 37,968. Ready to try another one? Sure you are, all right. Let's go on to the next problem here. So we have 3,207 times four. So let's go ahead and multiply seven times four equals 28. So I put the eight right here and I put the two up here. All right, now this is kind of trickier. We are doing the next number here. Remember, we're not adding that one yet. We're doing the next number here. So it's four times zero is zero and zero plus the two would be two dose. So I go ahead and put the two right here. And then I work on the next number, which would be four times two. Four times two, eight. So I put the eight right here. And we don't have a number to carry at all. So we're just going to work on the next number. And remember, when you're writing these numbers, make sure they're all lined up and very neat. What is four times three? Four times three, 12. So I'm going to go ahead and put 12 right here. And that is our answer, 12,828. All right, let's try one more here. All right, now we have 2,890 times nine. Let's go ahead and multiply nine times zero is zero. So I'm gonna go ahead and put zero right there. Whoa, I'm hearing all the cows in the background there. And now we're gonna work on the next number here. Nine times nine equals 81. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the one right here and I'm gonna go ahead and put the eight up here. Remember what I was talking about? Don't add that yet. We're gonna add that in a little bit. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take nine times eight is 72, and then 72 plus the eight. Now, if you're not sure, if you can't do it in your mind, you can always go over here and take 72 plus eight. All right, so then eight plus two would be 10. Carry the one and then seven plus one, which would be eight. So we have 80. So I'm gonna put the zero right here, and then I'm gonna carry that eight all the way to the top there, and we're gonna add that in a little bit. So nine times two is 18. Again, when these numbers get a little bit bigger, it's okay to write it off to the side. So nine times two would be 18, and then I'm gonna add the eight. So I'm gonna put the eight right here, and then eight plus eight is 16. I don't know, I thought I heard something over here. Um, eight plus eight is 16, carry the one, and now one plus one equals two. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put 26 right here. So I have 26,010. Oh my goodness, that was awesome. Hey, thanks a lot for uh, working on these math problems and uh, um, I don't know, I, 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 thought I, I thought I heard something in the back of me. Anyway, um, hey, make sure you hit that likey button if you like my show. Also, I have a learning fun show. It's another uh, math channel. Uh, check that out. It's more math uh, um, sh um, 
problems on there. I also have another channel called Dino Math. It's more uh, dinosaur related with mathematics. And I have an outdoor show. So check that out down below in the links. Um, a lot of cool stuff. But don't spend your whole day on the internet. Get out and start playing around. Maybe go out and uh, play with some cows out there. No, be careful. Uh, you can always look at the cows. Hey, have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Adios. Goodbye.